support the rest of the world. So the interesting thing will be which languages they choose. Yeah. Well, obviously, the, the one they can't help but choose is English. Obviously, we've already, we already know that. Right. But it, it would be interesting to see if they start doing stuff like Spanish or... Because Spanish is the like more, one of the most popular yeah. languages, so Heck, it'd be weird if they didn't do it. Heck, Chinese. Yeah, Ch- China as well, yeah. Yeah. Um... So, yeah, the, the languages and places they choose to release it will be really interesting. Mm-hmm. But a lot of the time now, um, or at least nowadays, most countries know two languages other than like England and America. <laughs> Everywhere knows more than one language except for us. We're just kind of, yeah. you know, we go to another country and say, coffee, two, <laughs> coffee. That is our French. <laughs> at least that's my dad's French. Yes. Um, yeah. You're more understandable the slower you speak it. So, you know, it's fine. And the louder you speak it. You know, coffee! Oh, now they'll understand. Loud and slow. <laughs> that's all you need to be. So, absolutely. That's, that's how basically I live. Basically describes the West world. <laughs> Loud and slow. There we go. Um, all right. So, uh, so, what else do we want to cover? And uh, the jazz thing. Oh, uh, yes. Something about jazz. Yes. Um, Japanese jazz singer is fighting cancer with classic anime things. I'm I'm going to need to either brief myself or you're gonna to have to brief me with this because I have a horrible memory. So <laughs> So basically this um so Reiko Oshibuchi is a Japanese uh, Japanese jazz singer. She sings jazz in Japanese. And she contracted breast cancer, I believe, um uh, three years ago. And she had a mastectomy, and she's been fighting it, and so forth and so on. Good for her. And uh, she, um, a year before she contracted the cancer, she did a, a concert called Anime Jazz, where she did jazz version of anime theme songs. And so she then uh, resumed the live performances in uh, 2008, and the event was a success. So she's releasing a CD, um, as usual in Japan. It's going to cost like $35. But a third of that will go toward, directly towards cancer research. So about 10 bucks or so will be donated to the, the Childhood Cancer Association of Japan. Um, so it'll go straight there. Uh, it's got themes from Gegege no Kitaro, Astro Boy, Space Battleship Yamato, Gacha Man, stuff like that. So pretty cool. Yeah. Well, I've got multiple comments for this, but the first comment I've got to make is, um, you know, she's be, she is technically dying from this mm. and a third of the price yeah um hello you are dying <laughs> you, i think you should make a bit of a grander gesture than mm. a third maybe not all of it but 90 percent, maybe mm. you know you did because again you don't really have to worry about money for much longer do you mm. um i know that's i'm being a little over the top but you know it's, seriously mm. a third you know it, multi-million companies donate more than than mm-hmm. she is mm-hmm. um like a lot of multi-million companies sell stuff and then donate half an entire half of the price yeah. to to stuff like this which is really really good yeah. uh, another thing is uh, just a simple thing is i'm looking at the album cover now mm-hmm. and it's the coolest thing i've ever seen on an album honestly is there any way yeah. we can show it on the um to, I, that's to a, everyone that's else a, that's a good point let me let me pop that up here um so the one second. Yeah. And that is the sound Brent makes when he's hunting a squirrel. <laughs> so there's the, the, the cover. Uh, it's basically Astro Boy made of the word jazz over and over and over again. And it, it, it's cool because it's just really simplistic. Yeah. But the good thing is they haven't just used the same size of the word jazz. They've sort mm. of like given it this sort of depth. Yeah. By changing this size of the word, or the you know size of the font, which yeah. is really good. It, obviously, it doesn't look like Astro Boy. They could have mm. done it where they changed the size of the word to make it so, or they changed the size of each individual letter to make it Astro Boy's face. Right. But it does give this cool sort of corrugated metal. Yeah. Diaphragm effect. Absolutely. Especially with the grayish silver. Yeah. Color. Yeah, it's very nice. It's really um, and the other thing is, how, I don't know if it's just me, but how many people are surprised by the fact that there's Japanese jazz? True. I was, I, this isn't the first time I've heard of it, actually. The mm. first time I heard about it was from Hanamaru Kindergarten. Oh. And it was an ending theme 
that that's one of the other things about I love anime series that do an ending theme and it's a different one every time like Bleach oh, used yeah. to do it I don't know if they still do it mm. um, but it's just I think that's really cool but yeah one of them was a jazz an, a, a Japanese jazz nice and I thought that you know the anime was being unique and then I thought that's stupid <laughs> they must have quite a traditional Japanese jazz and it's amazing how much it's like our jazz yeah you well, know yeah it, it's very much based on and I know essentially nothing but just you know, I do know they have uh, quite a lot of jazz, and it's it's basically well, you know, America invented it, and um, it's really good. Yeah, and the stuff I've heard is amazing. They've they've got it down. They know how to do that jazz just really really well, which is interesting because jazz is um, sort of stereotypical for for the Japanese. It is very much a um, something where you're taking many different people all working at the same time that all have to integrate at the same time. So you have to all be be willing to sort of be on the same wavelength. So it actually kind of yeah. kind of makes sense. Yeah, actually, it's um, it's all jazz is it, to use a word that we've used we've used a lot in again talking about Iron Man <laughs> is a humble music. If you think about it, you know, no one in in jazz, no one's ostentatious. It's all very mellow. Yeah, and just sort of trying. To, everyone works together in jazz mm-hmm. because if you watch a live squeaky chair. Um, if you watch a live jazz band, you really do see that everyone is one hundred percent working together yeah. to intertwine the music. Yeah, which is really good. Yeah. Um, um, if you have not, se- if you have never seen like jazz performed, um, it'll give you a whole new, yeah, give you a whole new appreciation for what jazz is like. It it is a an incredibly intense process for everyone doing it. A lot of it's improvisation as well, which I yes. to respect. Yeah. And that'd be interesting to see if Japanese jazz features a lot of in- uh, mm. improvisation because with their culture, yeah, it doesn't exactly promote stuff like improvisation. They might True. be very set, yeah, uh, songs with their jazz. Yeah. Um, but it, and again, it's nice to see that it's not an album uh, raising funds for an mm. album or, or for you know charity with something like um, well, any just traditional Japanese, music, you know, like J-pop. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Which I know more people would buy, mm-hmm. but well, I don't know. I don't know the Japanese jazz mm-hmm. um, things. But it's nice to see that it isn't J-pop, that it's jazz. Yeah. And you know, I like jazz. Who doesn't like jazz? Jazz is nice. Exactly, and uh, <laughs> and it's different, you know. And it, it, it's great to yeah. hear. It's also interesting to see how this these are again these are anime themes done jazz. So yes, you know, that's an, another thing as well. Yeah, it's, it's really getting um, uh, getting folks to uh, give money for this thing. And getting something that's not just you know fly me to the moon, it's it's something that, that's unique, that's distinctive. Yeah, people will remember this, you know. Yeah. Um, not just for the fact that this woman did an album for charity, because you know what singer hasn't done that when they're dying. <laughs> True. Um, they've done it about anime, and this will you know if if this kind of news can be spread, this will be remembered by the entire otaku community for a long time to come. Yeah. In fact, let me just go on and see if I can, uh, if, if that's available for sale. Too bad it isn't just on iTunes. It should make yeah. my life a whole lot easier. <laughs> um, there's a lot of jazz on, uh, on CD Japan, but I don't see that particular release. Um, there are some CDs I really want to buy now that I've seen that they exist, but... Um, <laughs> Uh, wow, there there are quite a f- there are actually quite a few, um, like anime themes done via jazz on here. Um, instrumental jazzy cover album featuring anime song, Ghibli jazz. Wow, Ghibli jazz. Well, I'm intrigued. So I was yawning. I was going to respond. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you would have wanted a response. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it that is. Um, Ghibli jazz it just sounds, and it does uh, a lot of the Ghibli stuff is not jazz, but it's sort of that same gives you that same mm. feeling jazz can give. Yeah. I'm, I'm saying mellow jazz, not the you mm. know because there's diff- there's like two different types of jazz really. Mm. There's the there's the quite heavy stuff and the mellow stuff, and the mellow Ghibli songs are quite yeah. jazz like, just with the way you where you feel and the way you think about the music in general is very much akin to jazz. Yeah, here's the cover for the Ghibli jazz uh, thing, All That Jazz, and which all is, that jazz. hey, what's weird is I'm, I'm, 
Is that supposed to be Nausicaa and Teto? I would guess so, and it's a very poor representation. It's a very strange, unless it's just, you know, someone completely reinterpreting the character. Yeah. That's strange. It's only 25 bucks? Hey. That's not bad, yeah. Yeah. Especially for, a, for something from Japan. Exactly. That's, 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 that's pretty cheap. Um, unfortunately, they don't say which covers that includes. Um, Oh, I see. the The other uh, cover appears to be guys in jet. So I think those are the that's the singer, of the actual oh, pieces. So right. that makes more sense. So that's cool. So I'll, yeah, we'll we'll see if that uh, CD if, if that CD comes out. I'll definitely be buying it and and seeing what I can and, and listening to it. And we'll see what it's like. Mm. Um, it be very likely, some of the people will hear it if they show up before the live show. Exactly. Yeah, when you when you go away to do. Some <laughs> stuff. Um, you may be nice enough to play stuff. I, I might be willing to do that and, and have some, some little hold music there. Um, <laughs> all right. So what else? So um, want to play some golf? Yes, I actually do love golf. <laughs> and the story we're about to talk about is fantastic. Dragon Ball Z golf balls. <laughs> And, and not there just, is nothing cooler. And not just Dragon Ball Z golf balls. Let me let me show you all this. These are actually literally Dragon Ball golf balls. Yes, they are Dragon Balls, um, which I think is just just wonderful. Um, Maybe if you put a hole in one with all of them, you get wish. <laughs> a dragon appears on the uh, on, on the golf course and. Uh, it has got this little Berber hat and, you know, <laughs> pants and a caddy. He's got the bag and everything. And it, the wish has to be something to do with golf. Yes, it must. But you still could make that useful. You could say, I wish to win a golf tournament ah. that has a prize of one million pounds. I see. Or dollars. Yes, I like that. And bang, that is golf related and you get a million pounds <laughs> slash dollars. Well, no, it'd be about... Two million dollars ish. You know, it'd be a bit less than that. True. One one million nine hundred. <laughs> Unfortunately, so much, so much. by the time you get there, you have to fight and kill all the other people on the golf course. Yeah, it has to be done Dragon Ball Z style. Right, exactly. That's how you win the tournament? You beat them to death. You don't actually play golf. <laughs> you use your golf club and beat them to death. So I hope you have a nine iron. <laughs> exactly. Um, and I I think it would just be, actually yeah, that's interesting. I have yet to see a golf themed manga or anime. No, that, that is really true. That's actually something quite unique because Western culture has done a lot of golf yeah. comedy and, you know, it features quite prominent. I don't know if over there, but, you know, well, Tom yeah. and Jerry is American. Mm -hmm. um, and there is, I think there's at least three golf episodes of Tom and Jerry. Wow, yeah. I, there's a Dexter one, a Powerpuff Girls one. Mm. There, There's a lot of golf in Western culture. Culture, oh, obviously, because cool. it you know it's a lot more popular in Western culture. It was invented yeah. in Scotland. Sure. That's Western. Yeah. Um, 